Hello, I'm David Green, CEO of the Florida Pain Network, where we connect those in pain with pain relievers throughout the state, including pain management doctors, physical therapy practices, and chiropractic clinics. The topic today is medial branch blocks. What are they? A medial branch block is a diagnostic and a therapeutic injection done by pain management doctors around the country, very commonly. And why is it done? Well, when you have a joint that has arthritis, it can be painful. But a joint needs a nerve supply to feel pain. And in the spine, in the neck and the back, those are the medial branches that supply sensation to a joint. So if you can deaden those nerves, you can relieve pain. That's what a medial branch block is. So if a pain doctor sees that you have pain in your low back, and decides, well, I'm going to do a medial branch block at the L4-5 to see if that's the pain uh, inciting uh, joint, then it's done as an outpatient. It's a quick procedure. Basically involves numbing medicine, maybe some steroid, around the joint where the medial branches are. And it should start to provide pain relief within five minutes. That's how long the numbing medicine takes for its mode of action. So the pain doctor will ask you before you leave, how are you doing? Well, the numbing medicine hopefully will, will act right away and you'll get pain relief, but that's going to wear off, maybe within a day, maybe within um, two days. But the hope is that the steroid medication will continue to provide relief for months. Now, there's some new studies that have come out showing that even if you don't use steroid, just numbing medicine, the patient can get pain relief on average for about five months. That was incredible to me because Typically, it's the numbing medicine that wears off and the steroid that acts after a few days, you know, for months. That's not necessarily the case with a medial branch block. You may get pain relief, like I said, for five months without any steroid being injected. So it's kind of a paradox in that situation. We don't understand, uh, more of an enigma, really. But at any rate, after a medial branch block wears off, it can be either repeated or the person can go on to have a radio frequency ablation, which is a fancy term which just means burning those little nerve endings and killing the pain hopefully for upwards of one to two years is what studies show that that can be very helpful for. That can work for neck pain or low back pain or mid back pain. You can have the medial branch blocks and then the radio frequency. I mean these procedures are done as an outpatient. They're low risk. They're not risk free, but they're low risk. and they are, uh, like I said, outpatient and they can be repeated. So very effective, um, a medial branch block and radio frequency. Check us out on floridapainnetwork.com. We have pain management clinics throughout the state that take uh, insurance, some are cash pay. Um, and there's just a lot of options for individuals suffering from pain. There's also a lot of education on our site, a very active blog, YouTube channel. So when you go on the site, if you click on I need a pain doctor and put in your zip code, it will show you the clinic listings that are closest to you. They're geographically targeted. I'm David Green, CEO of the Florida Pain Network. Your pain stops here.